All right, back with another game. So it looks like we have a better starting hand this time around. Marganzer's always good. Morning Dove is in the tray. We're going second, so my opponent is probably grabbing the Dove. Goldfinch is expensive. Grosbeak is a good food gaining bird, but expensive. Brant, how do I feel about Brant here? It's my bonus cards. Diet Specialist and Falconer. Falconer could be good. So could Diet Specialist, but that's harder to pull off. This just makes Predators flat out better. It's too bad I don't have one in my starting hand. Filled Columns for round one. Total Birds, White No Powers. Eggs in the wetlands. Goldfinch is good, but man, it's hard to get that food from the start here. Especially if we play the Merganser. Kind of feel like we need to do a draw gambit. But can I really afford to let the Goldfinch go? I think I am going to keep it. We'll keep a wheat. Uh, we'll keep. And uh, we'll keep the wheat because we might get some cheapo food gaining bird. More likely to eat wheat than cherries. Just go with a draw gambit here. Throw down the merganser and start drawing and praying. If by some strange turn of events the dove is there, I'm just going to grab that. No, he took it as expected. So we'll just throw down the Merganser. They matched our Merganser with Pybilt Grebe. They're in a better position here because they got more food. Osprey gives us a bunch of fish. They're one food away from playing the Gross Beak. Let me just deny that. That's garbage. We'll take the gross beak. Hummingbird is pretty good. I bet they grab that. They did grab the hummingbird, but they revealed a bush tit, so we'll take that. Great crested grebe. Brown headed cowbird. That could be good. We could throw that. We don't have a cup nest, though. We need to get this bush tit down. I think... Kind of like this greed. I think I can let the... Grosbeak go, because I'm going to be drawing more cards here, and hopefully I'll find a cheaper food-producing bird. I'm going to get rid of that. Osprey. Maybe I'll get rid of the Osprey, because the Grosbeak could be valuable in the future. Forster's turn. good, but I don't think I need to secure a worm here and get this bush tit down. There's only one worm in the bird feeder, too. So there's a hummingbird in the grasslands. Let's get our worm. So they... I was just looking at that cherry in the bird feeder. I'm actually one food away from this gross beak, so I wonder if I don't focus on getting that down, and then I can gain food and get the bush tit down. I could get the cowbird down first.
before the bush did, I'm saying. So let's take the fish just in case I want to get this grave down. Got four turns left. Let's hope for a cherry. And we did not get it. But let's take the wheat. And I think we'll force down the gross beak. And if they give us another food off the hummingbird here. And they didn't, so, whoa. We could have quite a bit of food coming our way, though. So now I wonder... If I don't... Get down the bush hit. And hope they don't give us the food, or hope that they give us the food we need in order to get the crow speak down. So let's think about this. Three activations left. They don't have a filled column yet. They're showing grasslands development. They could easily play a forest bird here before the end of the round with two activations left. We'll force that down. Then we'll gain food and Maybe we'll have to force the cowbird down as well. We'll fill up our column for the round goal. So we will take the worm. And we will take the fish for our grebe. And actually, I think I'm just going, with the way they're looking here with their grasslands, I think I'm just going to get this cowbird down. So they can hand us food and eggs when they run their grassland. So there's our forest bird for their filled column. They can tuck excess cards out their grebe for another worm. One activation left. They have a tucking bird on the board, so this goldfinch is looking better. Let us re-roll. No wheat. Boy, this bird feeder is just not cooperating. So let's take the worm. We'll take the cherry. I see an eastern imperial eagle peeking around the corner here. We gotta grab that. How do I feel about these other ones? Not amazing. That's good. That could synergize with our falconer. I have to get rid of something. I don't want to get rid of anything. I think I am going to get rid of this griffin vulture, but I don't know I have incentive to go with birds of prey. I think it's time to get rid of this grebe. Great egret is great. It's a white power, and it can have eggs laid on it for. No, for round four goal. Wonder if he doesn't grab that. Just a good bomb. Crate horned owl. And there's two rats in the bird feeder. So I think I'm just gonna draw cards here again. Goshawk is good. And flicker would be nice, but. This is a white power. God, what do I get rid of?
You've got to be kidding me. I hate being in these positions where I just have all these great cards. And I gotta choose one to go away. Gosh, is it Bush Tit or the Goldfinch? I think it's gotta be the Goldfinch here. I mean, gosh, even with this... They might not use their Swift, but if they get something else for their Grasslands... It's just going to be so important to have that. Griffin Vulture. It's going to be good now with these Predators that I have. I'm going to get at least two down, I think. Then I need cards for the Goshawk and the Eastern Imperial Eagle. Gosh, I think I just got to get rid of this Flicker. I'm just going to keep drawing cards with the intent of getting the fuel for my birds of prey here and then that gives them the opportunity to lay eggs and we can benefit with the cowbird got five activations left in the round plenty of time so they drew cards I'm gonna take the peregrine garbage mute swan I mean, I need... Oh, man. What is happening? Gosh. I need to start getting food and getting these birds down. Need to get this vulture down. With some birds of prey before the end of the round. Got food. That was a blessing. Should get an egg here as well. Another food, an amazing blessing. Let's take the rat. Now we have the food for the peregrine. Got the egg. Man. I just keep drawing cards too. I need. I need food and cards. I got four activations left in the round. This is one. I go down to three. Two of them have to be... I mean, if I go Vulture, Imperial Eagle, Goshawk. No white powers for my opponent. I just don't have enough turns in the round to really max out this Vulture. I can hold off on the Eastern Imperial. I really should get this Mute Swan down. Because I just I have more incentive to just keep drawing cards here. I need to spend four food on that, though. Alright, well, let's go with the Goshawk. Man. I think I am going to let the Goldfinch go. And I think I have to let the Cassin's Finch go. I still have the option of doing Bush Tit Mute Swan. This gets me on the board for the round goal. I can gain food. Hopefully they hand us more food with the Hummingbird. There we go. So let's see. We need wheat. Do they repeat it again? They do. That's amazing. So I could get another rat. 
and have enough for the peregrine. I have three activations left. I have one egg right now. I could get this mute spawn down. Could get the owl down. Gain food. No white powers yet. With that rat, I wonder. I wonder if there's a raven coming. So I could go mute swan. I need to get this griffin vulture down. Could go Peregrine, then I would have to lay eggs, then play Griffin Vulture. But I have to, I only got one white power here. But I think I don't have enough turns to worry about just locking it down. I need to really get this Vulture down. I'm going to get the Peregrine down first so I get the chance at a tuck. And if they lay eggs again, we get another egg. I can get the vulture down for no food. I can grab another rat out of the bird feeder. There's a prairie chicken, bonus card bird. So there's their white power. So now I need eggs. Got two activations left. course. Oh, I'm loving all this food. They could play another white power here, but I mean, there's just really nothing I can do about it. I really could use another rat. Of course. All the wheat in the world. Well, let's take another wheat for the bush tit. All right, so we got more eggs from our opponents. Got to get the vulture down here. And they could steal this wrong goal with another white power. But I just needed to get this vulture down and I just don't have the cards to drop the Eastern Imperial Eagle. So that's just the way it is. Yeah, they did play another white power bird. Stilt in the wetlands. So we got a Vireo in the tray. Could go with Vireo Owl. It's always good. We're going to drop this Mute Swan next. And then draw cards. Let's see. Need rats. Let's let him flip the bird feeder here, and hopefully, if he repeats the hummingbird, there's a rat showing. We can grab it. No rat. We can use the fish on the swan, though. And we will grab a worm. Get our egg. Throw it on the mute swan. Then we'll draw cards. I'll grab that Vireo. And if we can cough up another rat, we'll play the Great Horn Owl. Uh, actually, we're going to get that bush tit down first. Then we'll draw cards. And then we'll worry about our rats. A 
a grasshopper sparrow from our opponent. Actually, I should have put this bush tit down first. Because that way the swan would recoup the card before. Because with the bush tit in front, I have to get rid of a card. But the swan would recoup a card. So there's a burrowing owl. That must be prairie manager. Total birds. We're tied. Four activations left. I am going to spend the egg here. Grab the vireo. Snowy owl. Beater. I think I am going to skip the bush tit here. I'll tuck the bee eater. Get rid of the oyster catcher. Let's see, we'll take... The wheat for our pipit. Hopefully, we see some rats come up here in the tray. There's a rat. Hopefully, it's there for us. And we'll get an egg off our cowbird. And then we can do Vireo Owl. Pressure this round goal. Pick up another point off our vulture. So he did take the rat. Take a worm there. Alright, so since we got three activations left. I think I'm going to draw some more cards here. I think I will discard. I'm going to need three eggs though for my double play. So I won't discard here. I will tuck the Clark Screeb. Tuck those. Need to stay. I need the cards for the Eagle, so I'll only tuck one here. Willet is a predator. That's six points for one food, and it picks up another point off the vulture. It's going to be two total points off the vulture. Ibis is better than Willet. I think I'm going to get rid of the blackbird here. I could go Willet, then Great Horned Owl. There's a worm that we need. Hopefully we see another rat here. That would be amazing. Then we could just go Vireo Owl and then Will It. There's the rat. Hopefully that sticks around for us. And if it doesn't, we'll get the reroll. There's our third rat for the owl. Here's our third egg for our double play. Oh, we got four eggs, so we're good there. Two activations left. Let's go Vireo. Do we need that cherry? We need double worm for the Ibis. Let's 
get rid of this egg. Do the owl. And if we get handed one more food, we can force down the ibis. They run their grasslands again. We'll pick up that egg. Otherwise, we're going to have to lay eggs here. So there's a brown pelican. Did they get puffing again? They got uh, Atlantic puffing in the last game we played. So that could be what that is. So I'm short on eggs for another bird here. I have one activation left. Could gain cards, tuck a card on the bush tit, that would be my egg for my next play. Give me more fuel for the Eastern Imperial Eagle. Tuck that. Need to stay positive here. On my card total, that is. Bittern is not a predator. Godwood is good. Great Lake Goose doesn't help. So we squeaked out that round goal. Could play the Godwit here for another bonus card, but we get so many guaranteed points off the Ibis. Could play the Pippet as well. What could I tuck? I could tuck that. Want the Ibis. The Willet is six, seven points. Two there, plus four there. Six minus two is four. Plus one off the vulture is five. And the godwit is a four. Plus a bonus card. And it replaces itself in my hand. So I can play the Eastern Imperial Eagle. So let's drop our Imperial Eagle here. We'll tuck the bittern. Will it in the petrol? Ah, uh, that's what that triple fish was. Great E, great in the king rail. Good play for them. We need eggs. And they're out of food. So they could just lay eggs for the rest of the game here. There's no reason to hand out more food. I could get the Godwit down. So the Ibis is 8 plus 2 is 10. Plus 1 off the Vulture is 11. Minus two is nine points, guaranteed. And the Godwit is four. Plus bonus card. 
but I don't have the food for the Ibis. And I don't suspect my opponent is going to be handing out any more food here. They're just going to lay eggs for the rest of the game. Try to win this round goal. So we're going to have one bummer turn. But we'll gain a ton of food. We could hopefully get a point off the owl. We'll get four food. We get a fish and two rats. We can go Ibis, Snowy Owl. Our wetlands is one, two, three points. So we need food right now to get this Ibis down. We're going to lose the wrong goal. There's two rats. Take a wheat here. Let's reroll the bird feeder. No fish came up. Not that I could take it, but I wanted to get that reroll to see if maybe it was worth gaining food again. But we could take another wheat. And I could overpay. That's kind of just as good as getting a fish. So we are getting some food here at the end. Interesting. Take the worm. Take the egg. Actually, let's put that in the wetlands. I need to lay eggs here. Come on, Peregrine. Got it. Had a weird online error there. Got kicked out and came back in. Edit that out. So they laid their eggs. Two activations left. Let's play our Ibis. More food. Not that it's really going to do too much for us here. So they gained a food. I wonder if they're just gonna they're chucking it for eggs. So what's going on here? So laying eggs is four, maybe five points. And I'm gonna come in second in the wrong goal anyway. Could play the Godwit. That's four points guaranteed. Plus the potential big bonus card score. So I think I'm going to do that. And we're still on the board for the round goal. Come on, big bonus card. Bird counter, four points. I'll take it. Not that these cards are going to matter. We'll take the Mississippi kite. Pick up some healthy points from our vulture at the end here. Big 10-point Falconer, that's always good with a 6-point Vulture. Another free egg. Five points from the Vulture here. So a total 11 points off that Vulture, that's pretty huge. And let's see the damage, so to speak. That was a pretty cool Predator game. If you like that action, please hit the like button for me, I'd appreciate it. We pull way ahead on bird points. Bonus cards, we should do fairly well. Yep. Wrong goals, we fall behind a little bit there. Not by much, though. Eggs, he comes way back on eggs. 
We're going to have a healthy amount of cached food, though. This is really close. Wow, 115 to 105. Good game. Wow, what a good, interesting Predator game. Well, we had those inflated scores because he was just repeating that hummingbird like that. Just a real interesting game, though. I've never really had a game play out like that. So, good game to my opponent.